Okay, in the finals here, and we are going to keep it. Got both land types. A little bit low on lands, but that's alright. Got a Fortifier and a Battlewise Valor. Opponent is Mulliganing. Keeping at 6 and on the play. I do like the picture on this. No two drop. Let's get a fortifier out there. That was a good draw. Alright, so we're going to get in and we are going to drop one of our Tritons just to get more clutter out on the board. Especially with the Onslaught and Valor in hand. Makes sense to me. So I think we actually just swing both. Alright, and we are going to drop the Triton now too, actually. I could wait, but I'd rather just get a big developed board state here and then find a good time to use Dauntless Onslaught on them. Or Battlewise Valor for that matter. So let's see if he taps something down. Triton, I'm assuming. Yes, and we'll get in again. So I can deal 8 to him. I think I'd rather just wait. Because if I get another land, I can actually Dauntless plus Battlewise Valor, which I think is pretty good. I'd be surprised if he doesn't block for the rest of the game. Uh, I'm actually going to wait this turn, because I have the Cloaked Siren. So now I'd rather leave up Retraction Helix, Dauntless Onslaught, um, Battlewise Valor, all that nonsense. Alright, so now we can actually swing pretty good here. We can Dauntless plus Battlewise Valor, which I think is going to make a difference between a burn spell being horrible and good for us. So he probably has coordinated strike. Let's just Valor here. I'm going to top that because then we can do Rise of the Eagles. So I really want him to play Coordinated Assault. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go for the Dauntless, which I hope is a trump, but we'll find out. And yes, it was. So that was a blowout turn for us there. Yeah, all right. So... Red, white, ish. Presume it's got to be more aggro than that. Most of the time, maybe just had a slow start. We had a pretty, we had a pretty good start. We had all the the tricks to get us out of that. So should I assume he's quick because he's red, white? I, you know, usually that's a pretty f safe assumption. I probably should just been main decking oppressive rays. It's kind of the impression I'm getting. I keep cutting Evangel for oppressive rays, so I should have maybe just been... I think it was because I was so worried about my creature count, but... 
Maybe it's not as big a deal as I thought. Uh, maybe we want to cut the Phalanx again for the Band Elder, but actually let me think about that. He has Snare Caster, so Phalanx will be better against that. And he played Mastiff, which I guess Phalanx would be better against that too. Okay. Well, for that, maybe we just leave the Phalanx in. Um, I think I still like everything else. So, let's just try this again. Good hand. Undeniably. We get to go Sun Guide into Warwing Siren. No two drop. wonder if he makes the trade. I think I'd rather trade a battle. No, I guess I wouldn't rather trade a battle wise Valor. Not when I have a War Wing Siren. So this is a trade I'll make. Interesting. It's pretty nice. We're going to... I kind of want to just oppressive raise it, but... I think I actually should, because he likely has... I think I'm actually just going to set up for the blowout. So we play Fortifier. We pass... I'm going to block the Eidolon if he attacks with it. I've got the Helix. So we'll just buff our guy now, I guess, and bounce his dude. Yeah, that is... Pretty redick. I think we Valor first. See what we got on top. Bottom that. And let's go for the Onslaught. Just because it's so beefy. If he leaves up four mana, we can assume it's a divine verdict. Guess we'll swing. Oh. See if he tops or bottoms. He does top. Okay. So it's probably a land. All right. <clears throat> Had to be done. Found the card he needed. That was a good draw. All right. Feeling pretty good. Anything he plays, I oppressive raise. Which effectively takes it out. Yeah, we're drawn pretty hot, I admit.
He missed his land drop, so he drew hot. That helped a lot. It's got to play the Ghost Blade again. Oh, no, I guess not. All right. Well, won the draft. Blue-white kind of flyers. Uh, triple Attraction Helix tended to be really good for us. Impressive Rays. I kept sighting into it. I should have probably just main decked it, but like I said, I, was, I had some serious concerns about the creature versus spell distribution in my deck. I ended up going to, what, 14... Most of the time, including the Rise of Eagles. But it panned out for us. Dauntless Onslaught was just as insane as I remember it being. So yeah, this was a cool deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you for the next draft, which will be an 8-4.